I was gonna do a super cute hairdo for you guys earlier today, but then... Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. I did. Okay. <laughs> Hello you guys, welcome back to another episode of my entrepreneur series. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about Alibaba. Um, it's a topic that I see a lot of videos on. It's uh, one of my most watched videos of the entrepreneur series. So I thought I'd uh, talk a little bit more about Alibaba, which um, is the platform that has or hosts a home to all kinds of vendors uh, for everything from lashes shoes clothes electronics hair you name it they have everything they have every type of vendor on there so anyway this is just another episode to give you a few more tips and maybe some advice on um alibaba alibaba uh, so anyway before i go any further my name is vasti i have my own athleisure line it's called chica botana that's x-i-c-a-b-o-t-a-n-a x-i-c-a-b-o-t-a-n-a -A -A. and our website is www.chicabotana.com and our ig handle is at chica botana which i'll add everything down below so let's get started bueno salud chica salud grab your notebook take some notes if you're starting your own business if you already started your own business if you're thinking about starting your own business or if you just want to watch me Hey, I'm here for it. I bet that's really loud. Anyway, first thing I want to say about Alibaba or using Alibaba is don't be afraid of Alibaba. I know there's a lot of people that think um, there's a lot of scammers out there, that people are not selling you what they're advertising, yada yada. Don't be scared. You decided to be a boss. Chances are if you're shopping on Alibaba or you're thinking about using Alibaba for a vendor, chances are you have a boss mentality. So you need to act like a boss when you are on Alibaba and talking to people uh, on Alibaba. So that's my first tip to you. Don't be afraid, act like a boss. You don't want them to smell fear in you and try to sell you everything in their grandma. Just be a boss. I would say before you're place an order with any vendor on Alibaba, try to get as much information from them as possible. They're all going to try to sell you something right away. Uh, for instance, in a previous video, I showed you guys how you just use the chat button at the bottom right, and it sends them the picture of the item you're looking at or interested in. And a lot of the times I just say, hello, can you tell me um, what shipping is for 20 items to the United States, etc." right off the bat they'll say oh we have this and that it's this much can i place the order for you or can i draft the the order for you and i'm like no 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 hold on i'm not done yet so i want to ask uh you know um after i get the shipping information because to me that's very very important because some shipping rates are outrageous it can be a hundred dollars to just order like a couple of things so to me i'm investing in samples so i want the samples I buy to be a good investment as well. I'm not just going to order this and that from everybody without getting down to the information that I need. So I will ask them, how much would shipping be to my zip code if I ordered 20, 30, 50 items? And then they'll say, oh, uh, you know, cost of the item plus this or that with logo, without, and then um, this is how much you're gonna pay. I'll analyze that and I'll say, okay, that's something that I'm willing to do. I'll break it up. You know, you have to divide what you're paying for stuff. You have to divide um, the shipping for everything, your shipping supplies, your time. Is it going to be worth it before you, you know, start investing and in even buying a sample from this company? So uh, once I get that information and I feel like that's something that I can do or work with, then I will say, okay, first I will order a sample. And this is when they get, oh, but the quality is so good. They'll start sending you pictures. I ask them, okay, um, do you have a picture of this color? Or can you send me a picture in every color? Because sometimes what they show on the screen is, is not what it looks like in person. So I always ask them, do you have the blue one? You know, a picture of the blue one. Do you have it in-house? Um, what material is it? What material is the lining? Um, so I just start asking them a bunch of questions. A lot of them don't like the back and forth. And this is where you determine, is this a person that I wanna work with in the long term? 
I mean in the long run or do they just want my money and want to sell me a quick uh, sample or want to draft me an order and they don't really care about my needs this is where you determine that so I always grill them I ask them so many questions I'm sure they're fed up with me and then uh, towards the end I'm like okay no thank you I'm gonna go somewhere else or okay yes let me get this <laughs> so don't be afraid be that boss you know you want to make sure that you're getting what you're looking for not just a picture they're selling you uh, a lot of these pictures they use are stock photos so they'll take for instance this shirt they'll place it on there they'll have their replica made in the thousands or hundred thousands and then uh, it obviously doesn't look as good of a quality as the original but this is the picture they use so when you're buying it you're thinking oh this is what I'm gonna get but when you actually get it it's thinner, threads are loose, uh, the color is off, the pattern is off. So this is why you need to ask all of the questions because even if you're just going to order, let's say a $10 sample and pay $25 shipping, let's say that's $35 for one sample. First of all, it can take like two weeks for you to receive that sample. So now you've spent $35, example, you waited two weeks for a sample and then you realize this is not what I want. So that's money and time that you're not gonna get back don't take me wrong i'm all for buying samples and trying things out but you can avoid wasting time waiting for a sample that you're not gonna end up liking if you ask a lot of questions so once you ask a lot of questions um go to another person you're gonna find that several different vendors use the same stock photo for their items so uh, who's selling the right thing who's selling a replica who's selling a cheap one so this is where i start you know i find for example i'll find a shirt like this i will message like three or four different people that are selling the same shirt and then i'll start the process of asking them questions what is shipping how many do i need to order how much do you charge for a logo um and then i'll get an idea of who i want to order a sample from there's been a lot of times where i order samples of the same exact thing from different people because i want to see what's the quality is yours better are you are you just selling me the picture um, do I get better shipping with you? Uh, is your shipping faster? You know, so I'll order uh, several items from the same. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'll order the same item from several different vendors so that I can um, determine who I want to work with. So um, again, that, that leads me to my third point: don't put all your eggs in one basket. So these businesses, uh, these factories, are probably no different than businesses or factories here they don't always work out sometimes they'll close sometimes they'll stop making a certain item so you want to make sure that you have several different trustworthy suppliers or, or manufacturers that you can work with because in the case one of them is out or one of them stops selling an item or one of them you know their business might close down you don't know that you don't want to not have stock uh you know you don't want to not have the inventory you don't want to not have enough products for your customers so you want to make sure that again don't put all your eggs in one basket i know that's cliche and super super old school but just make sure you have a backup to your backup say also don't be afraid to ask them for samples ask them for free samples ask them for if you're gonna if you're going to have them do other things for you like logos uh, tags personalized bags or boxes ask if they can send you samples of stuff they already did a lot of them don't have a problem with sending you stuff if you're gonna order a uh, sample from them they can always just add a few extra things there for you to see some of the vendors do it anyway and i love when they do that because i get to see you know um, what they offer and if I want to work with them and just you know use them for like a full service type of vendor um, Also um, ask them for a discount ask them. Okay, if I add this other, you know thing to it, can you give me a discount? Uh, don't be afraid to ask for cheaper shipping a lot of the times They'll just give you a base rate and then you can be like no, you know I'll wait an extra couple of days if my shipping is $30 cheaper. Well, yeah, why not? You know, I could spare a few extra days So don't be afraid to ask for coupons ask for discounts ask for specials. Sometimes they have specials um, Sometimes they'll have stuff that's in stock that they don't have to order or fix or do anything to like ready to ship items ask You know, is it cheaper to buy that? 
ask them for um, lower shipping costs and um, also MOQ which means the minimum order quantity. Some of these uh, vendors will say that you can only order a hundred of a certain item or 500 or a thousand. Some of them can say 10, you know, so um, ask them. Sometimes um, you'll want to sometimes i've passed up on opportunities when i see something i really like because their minimum order quantity says 100 and i'm like i don't want to order 100 i only want like 20. and um sometimes i don't ask but there's been times where i ask them hey if i order 20 instead of the 50 how much would it be and then they'll give you a rate it might be a little higher than if you bought 50. um but uh hey, it doesn't hurt to ask, ask them. You lose nothing, you know, and it's even easier because you don't have to look at them. It's not face to face, you're not at a store. You don't, you know, you didn't walk into Walmart asking for a discount. You're just chatting and, uh, you know, texting. Anybody is brave through text, so you gotta be brave. It's time to be brave for your business. Number five, I would say give good reviews. If you worked with someone and they were quick to respond, they were quick to get you the information, they were quick to ship out your order, uh, they were cordial, informative, professional, you got your uh, sample in the mail or you got your supplies and everything was good, give them a good review. I mean, I, I would say it's like karma, you know, it's like the golden rule. Treat them the way you would like them to treat you. Like, they're running a business, don't you want to get good reviews? Don't you want to get that positive feedback whenever you do, uh, whenever your customers like your items? What did I write down? Give good reviews where good reviews are due. My name is Vasti and I approve this message. Just kidding. So um, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to, uh, you know, give you guys a few tips because I feel like I was super nervous before I started working with uh, Alibaba vendors and um, I had had um, I've had some um, bad experiences with AliExpress and uh, not with AliExpress with a vendor from AliExpress and with a vendor from DHgate where I never got my stuff and I went back and forth and I was just so tired and frustrated just mentally drained from trying to get my order and and the issue resolved or a refund and it just never happened so when i learned about alibaba i was like oh my gosh like what is this going to be like is it going to be the same thing like this is my business so i'm spending thousands and thousands of dollars and i cannot afford to just you know have stuff go missing or have things go wrong so uh you know i was hesitant i was hesitant um, but thankfully there was a lot of videos made by my fellow um young business owners and up-and-coming entrepreneurs out there that helped me a lot which is why i do these videos because they help me so much and i wanted to watch everybody's stories different everybody's experiences are different everybody has a different business so um this is why i'm doing this so that you guys get another um side of the story uh, you get it from a different perspective okay don't be afraid be a boss i want to do a little unboxing because i did get a shipment from one of my uh it's not a vendor because i haven't bought anything from them yet but this is a sample that i ordered and um let's it. Ooh. i think this is a sauna jacket I ordered yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. When I first messaged them, they were so quick to get back to me. Super nice. Shipping was very affordable and this is such good quality. I love when jackets have this um, little detail right here where you can um, you know adjust. I love when they have this. I feel like it makes everything look more expensive when they add these little cords with the little adjustable plastic. And then look at the inside. Wow, it's so good. Open it. I forgot what size I ordered. I feel like I ordered a small or a medium. I don't know. Look at this. I'll put it on guys this looks so chic like i would want to wear a jacket like this all the time oh my gosh let's move this shit let's move this chair what what 
what? Like, look at this. And it has, um, don't tell me it has pockets. <gasps> it has a zipper on the pocket, guys. Goodness. This is such good quality. Would you guys buy a thermo jacket? Oh my gosh. I'm totally working out in this. I think this is the medium. I have big boobs. So the fact that this fits me comfortably for the material that it is, it's a big, big plus and definitely true to size. Should I add this to my website? Who would buy it? Guys, this looks good. Functional and stylish. Yes, I don't want to take it off. Okay, well, that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys want to see next? Let's support each other. Uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, bloggers. Let's support each other. Let me know if you have your business channel. Uh, link it down below or write a comment down below and I'll go watch um, some of your videos. I'll go like some stuff. I'll go comment. Um, and uh, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you very soon and have a great rest of your week. Bye. Okay, I'm sweating. Thanks.